Access your free language gifts of the month right now. Here's what you're getting this month. First, the Life Events Conversation Cheat Sheet. If you're a language learner, then this is the most important resource you can have. You'll learn to talk about your life and major life events, birth, graduation, getting a job, marriage, and much more in your target language. Second, all the words and phrases you must know about food. Learn the most common words and phrases for fruits, drinks, flavors, cooking, and more with this new PDF. Download it now for free. Third, 20 must-know small talk phrases. With this bonus, you'll be able to have small talk in your target language. You'll learn phrases like, how are things? I haven't seen you in ages, and much more. Fourth, do you know how to say summer in your target language? If you don't, you'll want this essential summer vocabulary bonus. This one minute lesson is perfect for beginners. Fifth, how to say you dislike something. With this next bonus, you'll learn useful phrases like, I don't like this idea, I hate this, and much more. Sixth, free audiobooks. Unlock our huge library of language learning audiobooks. Save them to any device and listen and learn. They're yours to keep forever. And finally, the deal of the month. If you want to finally master a language with lessons by real teachers and our complete language learning program, get 35% off Premium or Premium Plus with the Power Up sale. To get your gifts and language learning resources, click the link in the lesson description below. Download them right now before they expire. Hey everyone, welcome to The Monthly Review, the monthly show on language learning where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is how to match your routine to language learning. If you're having a hard time sticking with language learning, then this episode is for you. You'll learn one, how to map your routine and set your schedule, two, how to choose the learning medium that's right for you, and three, the language tools you'll want for your learning style. If you're having a hard time sticking with language learning, you'll find out how to fix it now. Let's jump into the first part. One, how to map your routine and set your schedule. First, here's a quick question for you. Which of these would you rather have? A, the world's most comprehensive language learning resources, but a weak study routine, or B, a strong study routine and average resources. Leave your answer in the comments. But there is a correct answer here. You want a strong study routine. Why? You can have the best app or textbook in the world, but if you don't use it because you don't have a learning routine or a habit, you won't learn anything. If you have a strong routine and work ethic and just a dictionary and internet access, you'll learn more than someone with the best program and no routine. The point is, we are creatures of routines and habits, and our habits can be used for good or bad. They make us or break us. For example, if you have a bad habit, like going to bed at 4 a.m., you'll always feel tired when you wake up for work or school in the morning. If you have a good habit, like exercising regularly, you'll have energy and good health. Once we have a routine, we tend to stick to it. If it's a bad routine, it can do a lot of damage. But if it's a good routine, it can help us enjoy incredible results. We can also use routines to our advantage by applying them to work toward our goals, like language learning. How do you create a strong language learning routine? Here's one way to do it. First, write down your current daily schedule. For example, 7 a.m. I wake up, 8 a.m. I leave the house, 8.20 to 8.50 I'm on the train, 9, 10 a.m. I arrive at work, 1 p.m. I go to lunch, and so on. Write out your daily schedule for the whole week. Make it detailed. If you write out your schedule, you can see your existing daily routine. You can see where you can fit language learning into your existing routine, the routine that you're used to, instead of trying to create a new routine. Why does this matter? For example, some people will look at their schedule and see that they wake up at 8 a.m. They think that if they wake up at 7 a.m., they can have an extra hour for language learning. But for many of us, that approach usually doesn't work because it's not something we're used to. You're trying to wake up early so you can learn a language. You're trying to implement two brand new routines that you're not used to. For many people, this results in failure. Even if you do wake up at 7 a.m., will you get out of bed immediately and jump straight to learning every day? Or will you lose motivation after a few days because you miss that hour of sleep? So map out your weekly schedule. Once you understand where your time goes, find an existing part of your routine that you can fit language learning into. 
For example, if you take the train in the morning, you can use that existing routine and learn some language during that time. If you always eat lunch at 1 p.m., watch a video lesson during your break. If you always cook at 8 p.m., play some audio lessons in the background. If at first you have to start with multitasking, it's better than nothing. You can at least get used to being exposed to the language while you work on dedicating more time and attention to it. Now, let's jump into part two. Two, how to choose the learning medium that's right for you. Before you begin learning, it's important to understand what kind of learner you are. Are you a visual learner or do you learn by reading? There's something called the VARC model and it's an acronym for four learning styles, visual, auditory or listening, reading, writing, and kinesthetic, meaning hands-on or actual practice and trial and error. You need to understand what kind of learning resources are best for you. So, how do you determine what kind of learner you are? This depends on you. Do you like watching videos, listening, reading, or writing? Or do you prefer more hands-on practice? There's no wrong answer. It depends on what kind of learner you are and what you like. Also, think about your past language study experience. Did you remember vocabulary words better when you read them from a book? Or was listening to a podcast more helpful for you? How do you usually remember information best? This helps you choose the learning medium or study tools that are right for you. We'll talk more about this in a few minutes. For now, determine what kind of learner you are. Leave us a comment and let us know. The last thing you need to keep in mind is your study ratio. Your study ratio is how much time you spend absorbing information, input, and how much time you spend producing language, output. What you want to strive for is about 50% input and 50% practice or production, producing that language. So, if you read for 30 minutes, then you want to practice for 30 minutes. You can't just consume, you must practice. Otherwise, it's not going to stick as fast. All right, we've covered routines and learning types. Let's move on to part three. Three, the language tools you'll want for your learning style. In this last part, we're going to cover all the resources that you can take advantage of based on your learning style. But remember, if you're a visual learner, that doesn't mean you should shun resources that don't fit that style. Sometimes it's not practical to watch a video. For example, if you're driving, audio is a much better choice. So let's jump in. If you're a visual learner, take advantage of our video lessons in the lesson library. We have them across all levels, from absolute beginner to advanced. These will be your main source of learning. Use the vocab slideshows. You'll find these on every lesson page and vocab list. The slideshows make it super easy to learn and review words. Just press play and watch. You can put it on a loop and watch for as long as you want. Next, if you're an auditory learner, then take advantage of our audio lessons. You can also use dialogue audio tracks. These give you just the conversation from that lesson. And you can use these tracks to immerse yourself in conversations. Next, if you prefer reading and writing, we include lesson notes and transcripts for every audio and video lesson. So if you're taking a lesson, read along. The lesson notes include extra grammar explanations, vocab lists, and cultural insights that are not available in the lesson. You can also check out our extensive reading books in the lesson library. These are simple one line per page books that will build you into a confident reader. If you prefer writing, you can copy out the lesson dialogue into your notebook. You can leave comments on our lessons with sample sentences. You can keep a daily journal in your target language. Plus, you can send messages to your Premium Plus teacher and practice writing. They'll correct your mistakes, tell you how to express yourself in a natural way, and help you improve fast. And finally, if you're a kinesthetic learner and prefer hands-on experience and trial and error, definitely use our Premium Plus teachers and practice with them. You can do that via the My Teacher Messenger on the site or in the app. Use our spaced repetition flashcards. These cards quiz you on words and phrases and help you master them fast. They sort the words for you and quiz you accordingly. So if you don't know a word, you'll keep seeing it over and over until you get it right. And if you do know it, you'll see it again in a few days. It'll pop up every now and then just to refresh your memory. Also, take advantage of our lesson quizzes. You'll find these in every audio lesson, and these test you on the words and phrases you learned in the lessons. You can also practice speaking with our voice recorder. You'll find this inside the dialogue tool. You can record yourself and compare with native speakers. You can keep practicing until you can say the lesson dialogue at a native level. There are tools for every learning style. So, today you learned, one, how to map your routine and set your schedule, 
two, how to choose the learning medium that's right for you, and three, the language tools you'll want for your learning style. So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time, we'll talk about the secret to speaking more of your target language. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way, and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye. Starting easy with language learning is sometimes the best way to get into a new language. But before you feel guilty about wanting to learn the easy way, don't worry. It's fine to start the easy way. You wouldn't expect to lift 200 pounds on your first day at the gym, right? And language is no different. Start easy so you can build up to tackling greater challenges later. In this video, we'll explore seven easy ways to learn a language. The reason it's okay to start easy is the same as the reason you should start easy in the gym. You just can't expect to lift 200 pounds on day one. You start with five pounds, then you move up to 10, 15, 20. And language is the same way. Learn a few phrases today, a basic conversation tomorrow. In a few weeks, you'll be able to speak for up to three minutes in your target language. Then you'll reach five, then 10, then 20 minutes. Success comes step by step, little by little. So it's important to make things that are easy to do and easy to continue part of your routine. If you try to study for two hours a day with nothing but a big textbook, you may overwhelm yourself, get discouraged, and get tired. You might not stick with it because it's too hard to do. Things that are easy to do are easy to continue. So here are some resources to help you learn language the easy way. Number one, take audio and video lessons. Listening to audio and watching video lessons is an easy way to consume language. Most of our lessons are five minutes on average, so you don't have to spend too much time at the computer. You can even learn on our app while you're commuting, working around the house, or out on a walk. Number two, take lessons with Alexa. If you own an Amazon Echo, Dot, or Show, or are planning to get one, you'll want to make sure to download some apps to help you learn your target language. Take a look through the Amazon Skill Store. You can listen to lessons and other audio materials actively or passively, whenever the time is right for you. Number three, download the lesson dialogues and immerse yourself. With every audio lesson, you get a dialogue track, just the lesson conversation. These are just five to 20 seconds long. When you finish a lesson, download the track. Make a playlist of all of them. Then play them and immerse yourself in the language. Number four, the word of the day. This will take you a minute or less. Sign up for our free word of the day email lessons. It'll be a small boost to your vocabulary every day. Number five, vocab slideshows. You can access vocabulary slideshows on any audio lesson or vocab list. Just press play and watch the slideshow. That's it. This is a fast and easy way to review words from a lesson. You can even put the slideshow on loop to review as much as you want. Number six, the Daily Dose of Language app. This app is for the iPhone, iPad, and Android. With this bonus app, you'll get daily mini lessons covering phrases, grammar, culture, holidays, slang, and more. Every day is something new. Plus, these lessons will take you just a minute or two to complete. Number seven, print out our lessons as physical study material. You might be wondering why you should bother to print anything if all the lesson content is already online. But if you have the material sitting right in front of you, it's a lot easier to just glance through and start learning. With our Word Bank study tool, you can create your own word and phrase lists and print them out. Reviewing takes just a few minutes. You can also print out the lesson notes that come with every audio and video lesson. You'll also find our extensive reading books, which will help you to read faster. You'll find these in the lesson library. What's your reason for learning a language? Is it a personal goal, a hobby, or do you have dreams of living in a country where it's spoken? In this video, you'll discover 10 reasons people learn languages. You'll also learn why knowing and sharing your reason is important to succeeding in your learning. What's your reason for learning a language? Whatever your reason is, whether big or small, knowing it and talking about it is important. More often than not, your reason for learning a language is directly related to your long-term goal for the language. Your reason for learning might be, I want to live in the country where the language is spoken. 
or I want to understand the culture, movies, and music. But it can also be something simple, like I'm just interested in it. The point is, if you know your reason, you'll always remember what got you started in the first place. As a result, you'll maintain your motivation and continue your studies. But what about sharing your reason with others? This doesn't mean bragging about your goals and saying things like, I'll be fluent in 10 months. Rather, I'm learning because and sharing something specific to you. Real reasons. When you talk about your reason for learning with others, you remind yourself indirectly. And the more you think about it, the more likely you are to do it. Plus, you set an expectation. By sharing your goals and your reasons for learning, your friends see you as someone who's actively learning a language, and that's another powerful motivator. Also, talking about it gives you confidence, the knowledge that you can and will learn the language. A lot of people think they can't learn a language. They think they don't have the time for it or the talent for it. In reality, you just need to start. By sharing your reason, you can convince yourself that you can do it. So, what's your reason for learning? Leave a comment and tell us why you started learning a new language. So, why are other language learners studying? We asked. Here are the top 10 reasons for learning a language. Number one, I love the culture and the people who speak the language. This is a popular answer, especially among our learners studying Japanese and Korean. Number two, I want to understand songs, movies, and TV shows. Songs, movies, and TV shows are great ways to immerse yourself in the language. If you're spending your time learning and immersing yourself, you're going to learn faster. Number three, it's a beautiful language. Sometimes people simply love the way the language sounds. This is a simple answer, but even this can keep you motivated if your interest in the language is genuine. Number four, my family comes from a place where the language is spoken. Of course, people want to be able to connect to their family and the people they love. Speaking of... Number five, I want to speak to my partner's family in their language. This can be a great way to connect with people and learn more about them, especially if they're new family. Number six, I'm learning the language to impress someone. Maybe you want to show off to someone special, or maybe surprise a grandparent with a card in their native language. There are a variety of situations in which using another language can show someone you care. Number seven, I love traveling. Knowing the local language when you travel will help you find new places and make new connections. It can only make your travel experience better. Number eight, I live or want to live in a country that speaks the language. It's a lot of people's dream to live overseas and experience the culture they love. Or maybe they need to move for work or family reasons. Learning the local language is extremely important if you're going to live in a different country. Number nine, I just love learning languages. What's great about this is if you've learned one language, it's easier to learn another because you learn how to learn a language, right? If you learn one, you develop certain habits and approaches that work for you. You can use this to master another. Number 10, it's just a personal goal. We hear this a lot, especially from learners that stopped, took a break, and came back. If you have a goal in mind, something you wanted to do but never did, you want to come back to it and get it done. Our results show that most people learn for love, for family, to travel, or for self-improvement. So, why are you learning? Leave us a comment right now and let us know. Did you have a language teacher that inspired you? Maybe it wasn't a teacher, but a partner or another person someone that motivated you to learn. You wanted to reward their investment in you by doing well. When learning a new language, having encouragement and the help of a good teacher can be hugely important to succeeding in your studies. In this video, we'll look at the power of a good teacher. Teachers can have a powerful impact on you, so let's look at how great teachers help you during your language learning journey. Number one, a good teacher can push you to improve your speaking. Working on building your conversation skills can be tough. Whether you're practicing a one-minute conversation or a 10-minute conversation, having a good teacher to practice with is key. You can prepare for your conversations by creating an outline of things to cover on paper. Then, as you talk, you can follow along with the topics you've prepared. These topics can include basic things like greetings, asking about the other person, or just catching up because all of the things you're going to talk about have been prepared before you begin the conversation, you can move down the list and practice different stages of conversation. Something as simple as greeting someone and catching up with them can be two to three minutes of talking. 
Having a good teacher to help you make this outline and go through it with you can really improve your speaking. A good teacher will also be able to handle going off script too. When a conversation goes outside the originally planned outline, a good teacher can react smoothly and keep the conversation going. If you want to make a joke or change the subject, the teacher can follow along. They can react and continue the conversation with you easily. If a teacher shuts down a student when they're trying something new, it can really hurt the student's motivation and enthusiasm. But the right teacher can motivate you to get better, even if your speaking isn't always perfect. The key is finding someone who can take a student's new skills and encourage them, even if they're not correct 100% of the time. Number two, how you can learn faster with outside help. After studying on your own for some time, introducing outside support can be a game changer for your long-term motivation. It can push you to reach new limits and work harder than ever. It can be a teacher, a tutor, a family member, a friend, or someone you look up to. But it has to be someone that inspires and energizes you. Of course, finding people like this is easier said than done. So you might want to take a few trial lessons with a few teachers to find the one you're the best fit with. If you're a Premium Plus user, take advantage of your Premium Plus teachers. They will hold you accountable, send you assignments, and give you feedback to help you perfect your language skills. It's also important to find a teacher whose lessons you enjoy. Sometimes people stick with lessons just because they like the instructor. There are so many types of teachers. If you can find instructors you gravitate towards, you may find you'll want to learn more just because of who they are. Make sure to check out our lesson library. There are a ton of classes and teachers to choose from in the absolute beginner, beginner, and intermediate levels. If you hear someone you like, you'll be more likely to stick with their lessons, and you'll learn better. Great work. Here's a reward. Speed up your language learning with our PDF lessons. Get all of our best PDF cheat sheets and eBooks for free. Just click the link in the description.